Yo, what's going on? This is me, KC91, Kid91, back with another video. You heard that huge slap in the background. We're going to be talking about this year's E3 predictions from Sony themselves. Now, last year, the hype was real. Ooh, last year, the hype was real. Oh, my gosh. I'm just getting goosebumps from last year oh my goodness the hype was so real dude me and the chat site we were going insane okay first of all you announce that final fantasy 13 versus is still going to be in the works okay and that it is gonna it is it, still in the works and it's gonna be called Final Fantasy 15. Hype. Then you announce Kingdom Hearts 3. It's in the works as of right now. And hype, okay? And then you announce that the PlayStation 4 with all of this stuff that Microsoft said that they were going to have the DRM and all that bull crap. They turn around, Sony turn around and says, we're going to do the opposite of Microsoft and undercut the competition. Since Microsoft's Xbox is going to be $500, we're going to do $400 and we're going to focus on the games. $400 hype. Everybody hype. Seriously. And then after the fact of E3... The hype was so real that Sony totally covered up what they did. First of all, Sony would have Sony's PlayStation 4 would have been $500 um had not they seen Microsoft's price point. I think that they cut it at the last minute. They took away the camera the PSI and separated the two and now that was going to be four hundred dollars that that's going to be four hundred dollars it was going to be five hundred but they took away the PSI standalone is going to be sixty dollars for the PSI camera to make it more even more appealing even you even if you add it all together then with all the hype surrounding the price cut they slowly slide in PlayStation Plus as a necessity in order to play multiplayer online against your friends but one thing that they did not do versus Microsoft was hide Netflix and Hulu and Skype and behind the paywall that is Microsoft Xbox Live okay Xbox Live seriously so they slid that in there and I wasn't a few huge fan of um, I wasn't a huge fan of uh, them initially planning the PlayStation to be 500 bucks. I wasn't a huge fan of um, that you had to play pay a subscription a subscription a subscription fee. Oh my goodness, I can't speak today. A subscription fee in order to play with your friends, and then it comes out that. Uh, Final Fantasy Versus 13 and King Hearts 3 are going to be multi-platform. So I was like, wow. They totally sold their systems out of hype. And only the nerd, nerd of nerd gamers know this. So with all that being said, the system sold out of hype. And the only thing that you had on launch day was Killzone and Mac. So... I know I gave that long introduction of how, you know, they, you know, pretty much dominated last year. And we're going into this year's prediction of what they're going to do this time around. Now, Sony really has to prove that they are all about the games. They need to bring out more games. Um, I forget what that game is called. It's from Santa Monica Studios. And it's like 1988 is the dumbest name. The Order. 1859 uh 2087 that is the dumbest name man don't don't add years to your games you're gonna confuse people okay 
okay? Just call it the order. I think that's what it's called. The order, um, some kind of year, okay? That's going to be shown off of E3, obviously, okay? A lot of people are leaving uh, Naughty Dog Studio. Everybody's getting all wary. But then we get some up-and-comers. Well, not up-and-comers, but people that we've known in a video game field for a pretty long time to join Naughty Dog. Thank God. Because I love The Last of Us. That's like the only IP that I really love from Sony. But as far as their um, first-party titles that are coming out from PlayStation you know from Sony and all that stuff I really don't care for them uh, Sly Cooper is pretty good but the rest of their you know first party titles are really mediocre in my opinion some other people really do enjoy first party titles from Sony but I really don't enjoy them that much aside from Heavy Rain and um, Beyond Two Souls wasn't even really all that great and The Last of Us, that was the main games that I really liked about the PlayStation that came from their party house, Sony's house studios. So I'm expecting them to show the order off also. And like I said with Naughty Dog, they're going to be showing off maybe Uncharted 4, quote unquote Uncharted 4. And this next Uncharted game, it better be totally different man, because Uncharted 2 and Uncharted I never played Uncharted 3, but Uncharted 3 looks like Uncharted 2, and I wasn't too fond of that. I loved Uncharted 1, you know, I love the uh, plot twist, I love the simplistic gameplay, and it kind of felt like Indiana Jones in that game. I really did enjoy that, but the rest of them afterwards I didn't care for. They will be showing up some, um, some more gameplay or trailers for uh, Uncharted. So, expect that. Now, for the PlayStation Vita, um, the Slim has been announced, but they will probably show some bundles along with the Slim uh, to come out in the Americas, for North America, and they will announce a release date for whatever bundle is coming out for the Vita. Nobody really cares about the Vita except for Japan, and they are just gobbling up. I don't know if... I think the Vita has Monster Hunter on there. I don't know, it, you know, for sure about that. I think it's 3DS and Vita, or just, uh, I don't know, or just the 3DS. But if I'm not mistaken, I think they do have Monster Hunter on the Vita. And Japan really gobbles up Monster Hunter. That's the only reason why Capcom is still alive right now. So they'll announce some more games. Um, that are going to be on console, that are going to be on the Vita. Maybe, who knows, maybe we will see a Far Cry 4 for the Vita. A watered down version of Far Cry. Uh, Far Cry. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Ratchet and Clank, I can't see them making a comeback. Um, I'm trying to think of the first party studios that, um, Sony has that can, that they can actually bring out um, of the woodwork. Uh, Sly Cooper, not really too many people are excited for that. I can see some new IPs coming from Sony. I really do. Um, let's see. Um, maybe a new God of War of some sort. Either for the Vita or for the PlayStation 4. Either or. Um, Let's see. Um, hmm. It's a little bit difficult. Difficult because they focus so much on the games and they basically surrounded their system with hype around it. And they don't have, they have not had any games seriously to come out for a minute. They had a lot of indie games to come out and you had Infamous and you had. Killzone and you had Knack. And that's pretty much it that's been coming out from uh, Sony. And people have been probably playing their little backlogs or going out to find sales on certain games such as like uh, Assassin's Creed 4 and a couple of other games. But as of late, Sony has not been releasing any games. If anything, Xbox One has been releasing games more than Sony. So I'm really expecting them to really hammer in on the games of what they're supposed to be showing 
maybe show and finish off um, a couple more things that are supposed to be coming out for the PlayStation 3. They'll talk about that briefly because it still exists. So they would have to talk about it briefly on the Vita and mainly focusing and hammering in on the PlayStation 4. Maybe they'll flaunt their stuff, you know, stuff because, you know, they know their big shots coming into uh, E3 this time. Um, considering what happened at last year's E3 and the hype is still the hype train is still strong for Sony I mean seriously you talk about a system selling off a hype with no games <laughs> the hype was so real last year it was fun it was very exciting it made E3 Sony made E3 seriously that, that was very exciting all of that stuff with Smash you know smash bros and all that stuff i was really excited but we're focusing on sony right now and that's all i have to say about it hammering in on the games that are supposed to be on the playstation 4 very brief introduction and uh ending for the uh <laughs> playstation vita because it was dead on arrival in north america <laughs> let me stop being a a-hole i'm just messing around but yeah, they're not going to focus on the Vita too much. And the PlayStation 3, very brief, briefly tell you what's going to be coming out on there. Because you do have Ultra Street Fighter 4 coming out. And you still have some games trickling in as far as like the Tales of series games still trickling in on the PlayStation 3. And a few other games like Call of Duty and Murdered Soul Suspect and all that other stuff. So, With that being said, that's all I have. Well, my predictions for the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation or Sony's E3, mainly focusing on the PlayStation 4, very brief on the Vita and the PlayStation 3. And with that being said, this is KC91 signing out. Uh, make sure to comment below what you guys think. Join the Gaming Access site, www.gamingaccess.weebly.com. We have all gamers there for you. It'll be posted up in the link description below. If you want to join us, maybe we play some Mario Kart 8 or something like that. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.